very excited today. I'm going to open this. Power Commander 5. <clears throat> this isn't a true unboxing, uh, purely because <clears throat> I got so excited that I opened it already. But I did put it back in the box, so I'll show you guys what's in the box. Alright. Opening the box. A CD-ROM. Do computers come with CD-ROM? Readers anymore. Oh, I wonder if I can take this and sell it on eBay for like 20 bucks. <laughs> Repair or replace this product with a new and reconditioned product at no charge to you, provided you return it during the warranty period with transportation charges prepaid to Dynogen. Cool. Thanks, guys. I've always been a big fan of flaming Hot stuff. And they make flaming Hot everything now. Sorry for the mess behind me, guys. We were supposed to be moving two days ago. And it all got postponed because of, you know, coronavirus. I would say that jokingly, but at the same time, too, it's very serious. Um, all right, let's take this cable out. I have like 10 of these already. But might as well open oh, another one. This one's super long. Like, whoever's gonna use a USB mini? That's approximately five foot eight. USB A port plugs into the computer, and that's a USB mini, not a micro mini. Too many times do I just hear people say, "Does anyone have an Android cable?" What the hell is that mean? I don't really remember a time when phones use this plug, but um, I do know a time when phones use this plug. This is a mini. This is a micro. Micro sounds a lot smaller than mini, doesn't it? It's because this. We're plugged. We have power. I had to plug it in through a regular USB port since it's USB mini um, it just wasn't registering right in my USB 3.1 uh, ports on my computer so just had to put in the regular USB port for slow stuff which is kind of ironic that it uses such a slow cord for being something that makes things go fast so with that being said uh, I want to show you guys real quick on the site because if you go on YouTube, like I did, there are no up-to-date videos on how to download the software or the maps because all the other videos are old. So with that being said, they say go to powercommander.com. You can type that in and just redirect you to this page, uh, downjet.com backslash power hyphen commander. Yeah. Um, what you gotta do actually is go to support, downloads, and then when you get here, choose your power commander five it is model specific so um you actually need to type in what kind of bike you got um so for me 2006 yamaha r6s whoa go all right just waiting all right click on that power commander five Boom. Okay. Downloads. Okay. Go to downloads. Download this. Okay. You open that up. This firmware update does not work. So don't do it. I tried multiple different ways of doing it. It does not work. But anyways, now with that, what you need to do is go find some maps. Right? So I got maps here. Access tunes. What I did is I actually just took this one here from my bike. I downloaded it, right? I downloaded it, open with the Power Commander 5 Control Center program. It's going to open that. It's going to show you here, hopefully this little table pops up. 
you're going to click the map. None of these numbers are going to show up or register because the bike is not running at the moment. So all I'm going to say is get map. Got it. It's saved. Send the map to the power commander. Sent successfully. As said down here. All right. And basically, we can go through and mess around with stuff if we want to. I don't really want to touch anything yet because I don't know anything uh, about the performance of the bike quite yet when it comes to using this. Um, so, I'm not going to touch any of that right now. Might yank it back out of the bike someday and try it again. But it's really simple as that. So now I just save it, go to maps. Jody's first PC5 tune. Bam, save, overwrite, got it. It's on there. That's it. Really simple as that. Get out of there. So, uh, in the next video, I'll be installing this in the bike. I thought you guys could go shorter. Like, that's really long. But, I was thinking about it. And because the software program is designed to also be able to like help you tune the bike as it's running, like if you were to stick it on a dyno, you would need some distance, right? To be able to plug it into the computer and to the bike, you need some distance. Cause yeah, I mean, if we had just like a regular size cable, it wouldn't give you enough distance to like plug it into the bike and to the computer probably, unless you were like super duper close. But, um, you know, that's not logical whatsoever. So, sorry for giving you guys a hard time about that, but now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Today's my birthday. See ya, guys. Oh, click the like button if you like it. If you don't like it and there's a dislike button, you can click that too. That's cool too. But I was just really hoping that this would be useful for you guys. If you're into bikes and stuff. Peace.